Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to Boost Up 3 Lesson 6 and in this video we're going to talk about columns. Alright then, so we already know that the grid in Bootstrap is split up into rows and columns within rows, okay? So these are the rows going across here and these are the columns. Now, we use columns to specify how much uh, horizontal space we want a particular element to take up on a row. So for example, all these elements are taking up one column in width. These elements are taking up four, this one eight, these six, this twelve, etc. So that's why we use these columns. Now, remember, all columns must be within a row. So when we make a row, first of all, within it we have elements and then we apply column widths to each of those elements. And the way we do that is by using bootstrap classes. And this is just an example. This is what the classes look like. They all start with col, okay, then a hyphen, then the size. This is just kind of like a substitution, but this size I'll go through in a minute. And uh, then a hyphen again, then the number of rows, okay? So the size is the size of the viewport which you're targeting. So whether it's small screens, medium screens, large screens, etc. And the number is the number of columns you want the element to span. So these are the sizes. If we use XS for the size, then we're saying, hey, we want to target all viewports that are less than 768 pixels in width. If we use SM, then that stands for small, and we say we want to target all viewports which are greater than or equal to 768 pixels. All right. If we use MD, that's all viewports that are greater than or equal to 992 pixels. And if we use LG, that stands for large, that means we're targeting all screens that are equal to or over 1200 pixels, right? Now, the number of columns can be any integer between 1 and 12 because that's how many columns we're given to play with in Bootstrap. So here's a few examples. This could be my class on an element, right? And it's called XS12. Uh, so this means I want to target extra small devices, which is this size right here, less than 768 pixels. And I'm saying that at this device size, I want this element to be 12 columns in which, which uh, sorry, width, which is the full width of the grid or the full width of the screen, right? Now, this example is saying call MD, which is medium si uh, size screens, which is anything that's equal to or over 992 pixels, right? At that kind of width viewport, I want these elements or this element to occupy six columns in width, which is half of the grid, right? So, the way we want to approach this is by thinking about mobile first and going up. We're thinking, okay, how wide do I want this element or these elements at mobile? And we'll apply a class for it. Then we look at smaller screens, which is just larger than this. And we'll say, okay, how wide do we want our elements to be on smaller screens? How many columns and width do we want for that? Once we've done that, we look at medium screens and we say, okay, for medium screens, how wide do I want each element? or how many columns do I want each element to take up, and then finally large screens, okay? So that's the way I would typically approach it, going from small to large. All right then, so I've got up a simple example right here, just a simple HTML page with some styles, and uh, then this code right here. So I've just got a, a div which is containing everything within 1200 pixels, first of all, so that's gonna be the max width of everything. Then I've got a fluid container using this class. Then I've just got one row, and within that I've got six elements, right? So you can see right here, and by the way, this thumb class is just my own class, just to give it a bit of styling, such as um, like the background color and whatnot. So you can see each of these elements have got a class, and the class is col md2. So we know that that means that when we reach a medium-sized screen, which is about 992 pixels, I want these to be two columns in width, okay? Now the six of them, so six times two is 12, so that means they're all beyond that one horizontal strip, yeah? So let's view this in a browser. This is what it looks like on mobile, because I said look at mobile first, and currently, because they're all block level elements, they take up the full width by default, right? So they're all currently taking up the full width, and that's because we've not reached that medium size breakpoint yet. Remember, if I look at the code, I'm saying at the medium size viewport, then apply this width of two columns, right? So we're not there yet. So currently they're all taking up the full width. But if you look in this top screen, top corner right here, it's gonna show you the width as I make this bit bigger. And when it gets to 992 pixels, which is around about now, then it's gonna do, oh no, it's not, there it is. What width is that then? Sorry, yeah, 992 pixels. 
losing the plot. So when it reaches 992 pixels, it's now giving them each a width of two columns, okay? And they're all in that one row now because two columns times six is 12, and that's how many columns we have to play with in the bootstrap grid, yeah? So that's fine, but what if we want to target screens like this size or maybe even larger screens like that? Well, we can do, and that's what the other classes are for. We can apply multiple bootstrap column classes to each element. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So we're saying at medium screens, we do this. Now, I always typically start with small screens, okay? So what I'm going to do is say col extra small, right? That's the smallest screen available. Um, I want them to be six columns in width, right? So let's just apply that class to each one. So that basically means when the viewport is extra small, which is less than 768 pixels, if you remember, then I want each element to be six columns in width. So that means there'll be two in a horizontal strip because two sixes are 12, right? These all wrap and they go to the next line. So there'll be three kind of horizontal strips of two elements. And then what we'll do is we'll say call small screens, right? And at small screens, I want these to be four columns in width. So let's copy that again and paste it on the other ones right here. And basically what I'm saying here is when we reach that first breakpoint, which is at 768 pixels, anything above that or equal to it, then I want these div elements right here to take up four columns in width. So then four plus four plus four is 12. So there'll be three elements in each strip, right? And then these wrap onto the next line and there'll be three elements in that strip. Yeah, makes sense. Then we've already got the medium one right here where it's one, um, sorry, two columns for each element. And then we could do another one for large if we wanted to and say we want each one to take up one column in width. But I mean, we've only got six elements so that would only take up half the screen. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do this and we'll double up the elements. So, let me just do this, and then I'll explain. Let's just copy these now, and paste them down here. So, what I'm saying now is, when it gets to a large viewport, right, then, which is anything 1200 pixels or over, by the way, then each element takes up one column in width, okay? So this is the kind of sequence. It starts from the beginning, six columns in width, then four, then two, then one, as the screen or as the viewport gets larger, right? So let's view that now in this browser right here. Let's go back to the beginning because I like to start with the mobiles. And now you can see, because if you look at the code, we have col XS, which is extra small, six columns in width. That is what is currently happening. Right, six columns in width is half of the grid, so each one is taking up half of the grid, six columns, right? So if we go a little larger, when we get to the first breakpoint, which is what, 768? 768 pixels, I think, yep, there we go. Now, each element is four columns in width, so there's three in each strip, so four, four, four is 12, right? Because that's this breakpoint right here. Now, when we get to the next one, which is 992, um, there we go. Each one is two columns in width. And then when we get to the next one, which is 1200 pixels, there we go. Each one is one column in width. All right. So that is how we assign widths or column widths to the elements using, it wants to translate the page there. I'm not sure why. Um, that's how we use the bootstrap column classes to kind of divide our content within rows, okay? It might be a little bit confusing at first, but once you've had to play around with this a little bit, it is simple, and I've had to do no CSS whatsoever, guys. I'm just applying a few simple classes to these elements, and then Bootstrap is doing all the heavy lifting for me, and it's making this responsive. So, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you in the next video.